iOS gives us some really powerful APIs for working with strings, including the ability to split them into an array, remove white space, and even check spellings. In this app, we're going to be loading a file from our app bundle that contains over 10,000 eight-letter words, each of which can be used to start the game. These words are stored one per line, so what you really want to do is split that single string up into an array of strings in order that we can pick one randomly. Swift gives us a method called components separated by that can convert a single string into an array of strings by breaking it up wherever another string is found. For example, we could say let input equals A space B space C, then let letters equals input dot component separated by a space. Now I'll create the array A, B, C. We have a string where words are separated by line breaks, so to convert that into a string array, we need to split on that. In programming, almost universally I think, we use a special character sequence to represent line breaks, backslash n. So we could write code like this. Let input equals three quotes, a line break, b line break, c line break, triple quotes. Then let letters equals input dot components separated by backslash n. Regardless of what string we split on, the result will be an array of strings. From there, we can read individual values by indexing into the array, such as letters zero or letters two. But Swift gives us a useful other option. The random element method returns one random item from the array. For example, this will read a random letter from our array. Let letter equals letters dot random element. Now, although we can see that the letters array will contain three items, Swift doesn't know that. Perhaps we try to split an empty string, for example. As a result, the random element method returns an optional string, which we must either unwrap or use with nil coalescing. Another useful string method is trimming characters in, which asks Swift to remove certain kinds of characters from the start and end of a string. This uses a new type called character set, but most of the time we want one particular behavior, removing white space and new lines. This refers to spaces, tabs, and line breaks all at once. This behavior is so common, it's built right into the character set struct. So we can ask Swift to trim all white space at the start and end of a string like this. Let trimmed equals letter dot trimming characters in dot white spaces and new lines. There's one last piece of string functionality I'd like to cover before we dive into the main project, and that's the ability to check for misspelled words. This functionality is provided through the class UI text checker. You might not realize this, but the UI part of that name carries two additional meanings with it. First, this class comes from UIKit. This doesn't mean we're loading all the old UI framework though. We actually get it automatically through Swift UI. And second, it's written using Apple's older language, Objective-C. We don't have to write Objective-C to use it, but there is a slightly unwieldy API for Swift users. Checking a string for misspelled words takes four steps in total. First, we create a word to check and an instance of UI text checker that we can use to check that string. Let word equals Swift, let checker equals UI text checker. Second, we need to tell the checker how much of our string we want to check. If you imagine a spell checker in a text editor, you might wanna check only the text that the user selected rather than the entire document. However, there's a catch. Swift uses a very clever, very advanced way of working with strings which allows you to use complex characters such as emoji in exactly the same way it uses the English alphabet. However, Objective-C does not use the same method of storing letters, which means we need to ask Swift to create an Objective-C string range using the entire length of all our characters like this. Let range equals NS range, location zero, length word.utf16.count. UTF-16 is what's called a character encoding, a way of storing letters in a string. We use it here so that Objective-C can understand how Swift strings are stored. It's a nice bridging format for us to connect the two languages. Third, we can ask our text checker to report where it found any misspellings in our word, passing in the range to check, a position to start within the range, so we can do things like find next, whether it should wrap around once it reaches the end of the string, and what language to use for the dictionary. Would say, let misspell range equals checker dot range of misspelled word in word range range starting at zero wrap false 
language en for English. That sends back another Objective-C string range, telling us where the misspelling was found. Even then, there's still one complexity here. Objective-C didn't have any concept of optionals, so instead relied on special values to represent missing data. In this instance, if the Objective-C range comes back as empty, i.e. if there was no spelling mistake because the string was spelled correctly, then we get back the special value ns not found. So, we could check our spelling result to see whether there was a mistake or not, like this. Let all good equals misspelled range dot location is equal to ns not found. Okay, that's enough API exploration, let's get on to our actual project. 